In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect your Squarespace domain over to your Framer website. So let's jump into it. At the end of the video, you'll know exactly what you need to do, and this will be a very simple video. So first go to Framer, go to your profile icon, then go to projects, and here you can find your website you wanna connect a domain to. So I'm just gonna use this as an example. So we'll click inside of this website that will open up the editor. Now, once we're here, we want to go to the settings in the top right hand corner, then go to domains on the left here, and then you'll see your custom domain. This will be a subdomain from Framer. Now, if you scroll down, you'll have the option to add a custom URL. So let me just remove this one here. So here we can add a custom domain. Now you need to upgrade to a pro plan of Framer for this to work. So it might tell you to upgrade here. If you've already upgraded though, you'll be able to just check mark this and add your domain. So now we'll go ahead and find the domain on Squarespace. So go to your profile icon, go to domains, and then you can obviously find the domain. I'm gonna connect this one here, bradleyharrison.com. So click on your domain, then go to DNS. And then once you're in DNS, you can go ahead and add these following DNS records. Now, Frame is gonna tell us what DNS records to add. First though, let's just connect the domain. So I'll copy the domain here, bradleyharrison.com, and we'll type www and paste in the domain. Then click on the tick, and now Framer will give us free DNS records that we can add. So go back to Squarespace, go to DNS, and then what you can do, you can add these free following records. So first it's gonna be a C name. So first copy the value of that C name record, then go add record, change the type to C name. For the host, type www. Then in the alias data, you wanna go ahead and paste in what you've copied from Framer, then click save. So that should add the first one, no problem. Now we need to add two more, but these are gonna be A records. So copy the IP address for the first A record, click add record, type A record. For the host, type the at sign, and then for the IP address, you can just copy it in. So that's the first A record added. Now we can add the second one. So now let's go ahead and copy the second IP address. Then we'll go to add record, we'll go type A. For the host, we'll type here at, and then for the IP address, we'll paste that in and click save. So now we should have three different records. One's gonna be a C name, two A records, and then you can go back to Framer once you've added them. Now this is gonna be pending until you refresh. It might even still be pending then. It can take up to 48 hours to connect, but as you can see, mine is optimized and connected straight away. Now, if you click on the domain, it will go to the Framer website, and that's all you have to do. If yours isn't working right away, it can take up to 48 hours, but if you've done what I've just shown you, it will connect, and that's how you do it.